Hello, hello. Today I'm so excited to show you guys something I have been working on for the last week or so, and it is something that I have been using for a while now, and I finally made it available as a template. So this is the Life Tracker in Notion. Um, I use this for mental health benefits. I am currently going to therapy and I have to mood track as part of that. And I needed a really easy way to share that data with not only myself, but with my therapist um, and be able to use that data appropriately. So essentially what I've done here is create a habit tracker, mood tracker, and then kind of like mental health tracker all into one system that makes it super, super easy to input that data. I needed something that was going to be as easy to enter in as like an app on your phone would be, but with the data that I specifically was needing. This is super customizable, so I'm going to show you how all of it works so that if you want to customize it for your own needs, you can do that. This is available as a completely free template. I wanted this resource to be easy to access, so you can get that at the link down in my description box. And then I'll also have a couple other links to some videos where you can set up further automation. For some of my habit tracking, I use NFC tags. So there's videos on how to set that up if you're curious down in the description. You can skip that easily. I'm going to show you how I've created some shortcuts for myself, so you can also go that route if you'd prefer. So without further ado, this is the Life Tracker. It is all self-contained in this one page. Um, first up, we have the quick entry section. So if you're viewing this on a mobile device, this is how you would quickly enter in any of this data. Um, without having to open today's date. I'm going to go ahead and unlock this. It's locked right now just for easy entry. So for example, my energy levels um, will match the filter of the date for today. So this is quick entry for today specifically. If you want to enter past data, you'll need to go into the actual table to do that. Um, but this just makes it really easy to do quick entry from my phone. Um, I do it first thing in the morning and last thing in the evening just to update things. Uh, so I have energy levels, my cycle, sleep, stress, anxiety, and irritability levels all in quick entry. Then we have a chart by Chartbase. Chartbase is a, they do have a free version and they have a pro version. So depending on what you want to see on your chart, you may have to upgrade to the pro version. For me, I am tracking my wellness score, which I'll explain in just a moment here. But basically, I have the date on the x-axis and the wellness score on the y-axis. And I want to make this clear really quickly. This is all fake data that I've inputted uh, just for this video. This is not my actual tracker. So don't worry about that. Um, then on the right here, we have this week. So this will show the last seven days. Um, I did this because I had therapy every week. So this just gives me a quick overview to look at it um, when I'm in therapy and discussing it with my therapist. But you can obviously filter this out to be the past month, year, um, just a few days, or even the next few weeks if you just want to pre-enter things in. And then there's an all entry section where you can view all of your entries together. You can see your um, mood, all of the data that you have together, and lastly, the wellness score. So let's open up today and I'll show you what this looks like. So this data is automatically being entered every single day. So I have a template set up that is putting today's date in there, and then this is running every day at 1 a.m. So that way when I come in here every single day, um, there is already an entry for me to start entering that in, and that makes this quick entry section really quick and easy. So in my today's um, entry here, you can see that I have all of my different habits in here. These are just simple check boxes, and you can edit these habits to be whatever you'd like. Um, I have my progress bar set to eight different habits. So if you do end up adding or taking away any habits, you will need to update this formula to be the total number of habits to get the correct percentage. Um, or you can just leave it to eight to make it easy. So I go in here and I also use NFC tags to track my journal entries, alcohol, etc. So if I um, scan my NFC tag, for example, let's see if I can get it to work in here. I have an NFC in the cover of my notebook. So if I unlock my phone and I just hold it, it keeps locking on me. 
there we go. And I hold it up, it says journal detected, and you can see it is now marked journal as completed on here for me. So I use NFC tags around my house to be able to make that a little bit easier, um, but you can also just check off your habits as needed. Next up, we have the date. This will automatically fill based on when this was entered. You can see this automation ran at 1 a.m. I enter the number of drinks I've had. I'm trying to do no alcohol. Um, so if I obviously did have some drinks, I would uncheck no alcohol and enter how many drinks I had. Um, the irritability, anxiety, and stress levels are all tracked the same way. So a zero means I did not experience any of those emotions or interactions that day. A one would mean that I did experience something, but then it cleared up or it was minimal. Um, or maybe I'm not totally sure if that's what it was, but that's what I'm going to track it as. And then two would be that I was definitely irritable, anxious, stressed, whatever, throughout the day on multiple occasions. Um, so each one of these numbers assigns a value to our wellness score. Um, then I also have energy levels. Uh, I am bipolar, so this helps me track depression versus mania, uh, but this could also just be how tired you are. So wiped would basically be the equivalent of depression. Tired would just be, you know, low energy, not feeling great. Baseline would be what I would call normal. Alert would be something that's like maybe a little more hyper-focused, but it's not altering your routine. And then hyper would be overly um, hyperactive to the point where it's altering your routine. So again, each one of these will assign a various value to the wellness score. Total number of hours slept. I just round this to the nearest hour, either up or down, whatever's closest. My goal is to get out get eight hours of sleep a night. Um, depending on how many hours you get, that will alter your score down here slightly. There we go. And then we have activities. This is generally just to see what activities um, are associated with each day. So you can start to look for trending patterns. For example, if you spend a lot of time outdoor or maybe on days that you go on dates or days that you get a lot of cleaning done, maybe your mood's elevated or you have more energy, this is just a way to kind of start to notice some of those trends and patterns. Cycle is for the girlies, um, you know, just to track how your period cycle is interacting with that as well. Mood is going to be based on the feelings charts or the feelings wheels, emotion wheels. Um, so there are a ton of different options in here for how you're feeling. You can enter as many or as few as you would like. Uh, the wellness score will just calculate as long as you're entering one, it will give you points for that. Related notes links back to my notes category, so I can enter journal entries associated for that day. Um, you don't have to do this. It is not on the template, but if you want to, you can just add a relation to your notes database in Notion. Then we have the sum. The sum is basically a cleaned up version of all of this data so that when you are viewing this on, on this week, you are actually seeing that sum item on here. So you can see it's all one category. It gives you the date highlighted. It gives you your overall wellness score, and then it tells you some of those um, immediate items. So you just have a quick overview for therapy sessions, taking screenshots, whatever. And then finally, we have the wellness score. The wellness score is going to be completely personal to you, but I'm going to show you how I create this equation so you can copy it as well. I tried to make it as easy to edit as possible. So you start off with 10 base points um, every single day. You're starting off with 10 as your base. How many habits you get completed in a day is going to be up to you. So I have eight habits. So we're taking the total number of habits tracked times eight to get it to a nice even zero. For example, if you have tracked no habits, it's going to be zero times eight. So it's just going to be zero. If you've tracked one habit, it'll be point one, two, five times eight, whatever, and that will calculate. Um, so if you track all eight habits, it will be one times eight, which would give you a full eight points. I am only tracking for six habits. So as long as I complete six habits in a day, that's giving me the maximum amount of points um, that I can get in there. I do that because I don't necessarily need to do every single habit every single day. I'm giving myself a little bit of wiggle room and grace, especially because I have two young children. All of my habits do not always get completed. So you can change these numbers um, to fit whatever you would like. Then we have the mood. If the mood has been tracked at all, you get two points. If it is not tracked, there is a negative point assigned to that. The number of drinks in a day gets 
removed from the total score. So if I had two beers, that will take away two points. The hours slept is going to be divided by eight. So if I got eight hours of sleep, I'll get one full point for this. If I get anything less than that, it'll you know be a percentage of the total number of sleep slept hours, basically. Um, my stress, irritability, and anxiety levels are all just their own numbers. So if my stress levels were high and I gave it a two, I would get a full two points taken off of that. Um, if I didn't have any irritability, that's a zero. Um, and that just, you know, keeps it at a normal amount. The energy level is tracked a little strange. So this is totally up to you how you want to set this up. My baseline level is just a flat five points. Um, and then if I mark my energy as wiped out or hyper, that would be depressed or manic, then I lose a point. Everything else is neutral. That just helps me mostly get points for tracking it. And baseline obviously is the ideal for me if I'm on medication um, with bipolar disorder, baseline is the goal. So um, that can be altered. If you don't have bipolar disorder, you can change those items to be whatever makes sense for you and your tracking purposes. But ultimately what this means is that the max on this wellness score would be 20. And then anything below a 10-ish is probably something to look out for. Anything below a five would be concerning. Um, that probably means that you either are not tracking at all or you have marked very low levels um, for everything. So you're not completing habits, you're irritable, you're anxious, you're stressed, your energy is low or overly high, um, or you have not slept well. So all of those things contribute to a score. Um, like I said, adjust the score to fit your needs. This is for bipolar disorder specifically, but this can be adapted to be whatever you need it to be. So I use my chart here to track the day and then give me my wellness score on the x-axis so I can see that tracking over time. Ideally, I'll be a between 10 and 20 most days. If it starts to drop below that, then I know that something on my medication may be off or maybe my mood is shifting. And then I can discuss that with my therapist. Um, this also gives me a good overview week by week of my moods, um, habit completions, and just overall score for the last few days. I think that this has been incredibly helpful as a resource for me and my just mental wellness. So I hope that this helps you as well, or at least gives you some inspiration for creating this for yourself. Again, everything will be linked down below, but please let me know if you have any questions about altering this data or editing it to best suit your needs.